Hi, in this video I'm going to uh, guide you through setting up a cold email campaign uh, in Instantly if you are a design agency. So let's dive into it. Um, we are going to use the Lead Finder Lead Gen tool from Instantly and also we are going to use the Technologies filter to find the leads. Uh, first, let's start typing in some technologies that your potential clients may be using. For design agencies, uh, this could be uh, Squarespace, uh, Canva, or um, Adobe Creative Cloud, uh, Sketch, etc. Uh, I'm going to use Adobe Dreamweaver for this example. So these are all the tools that businesses might be using for their design needs, uh, but they might not be maximizing their potential. Um, so let's take uh, these companies for an example that are using Dreamweaver. Uh, you can come up with a pitch saying, hey, we are experts at web design. Uh, we can help you create engaging um, user experience or websites. Um, and you're likely to catch their interest because they are already using this software, but might not be getting most out of it. Uh, these technology filters are a great way to find people uh, that are um, more likely to respond to your pitch. Uh, you can also look at competitors of these tools on, uh, on the software review websites like G2 to find more potential leads. So once you've selected the technology here, um, we can filter out the results since there are too many uh, by adding some job titles here. I'm going to select CEO and also I'm going to use United States as a location. Now you can also uh, add an industry, um, some keywords or the employee size, but I'm going to just select an employee size. So uh, smaller companies, zero to 100 employees. Now let's uh, wait for the results to show up. And we have 313 results here. Um, we can select them all and click add to campaign. If you haven't already created the campaign name, you can create it here. So just click and enter the name of the campaign. I'm going to use something simple like design agent, uh, design services, CEO. That sounds good. So the tool will check for duplicates across your campaigns. So you won't be adding any uh, duplicate entries and click add to campaign. Now lead finder is adding the contacts to the campaign as we speak. Uh, then it will uh, verify them. Now here is our campaign. Let's refresh. Now the next step is to create a sequence email copy. Now I already have uh, created this one, so I'm just gonna paste it in uh, in the sequence editor. Now here it is. Let me just format it quickly. So we have an intro here. You can use the variables to uh, personalize the campaign. Then we have the um, case study here. Also customize it to fit your offer and your business. We have the value prop, a soft uh, call to action, and then the signature here. You can use sending account name variable. to sign your emails and let's add a short uh, subject line. You can add something uh, like a quick question, first name, quick question, first name plans, uh, visual identity or um, thoughts. 
and save your campaign then you can add as many steps as you want here although we uh, we suggest that in three steps as follow-ups uh, so you can move on to the schedule by default it's set to eastern time zone and this is fine uh, since we have USA leads but you can change this um, and then the last step is adding some sending accounts here the more accounts you add uh, the higher volume you can send um, so we recommend sending 30 to 50 emails per day per email account um, so if you have 10 accounts that would be between 300 or 500 leads uh, and that's it so you can launch the campaign now um, this is really all you need to do to launch the campaign in just a few minutes um, this process can help you reach out to potential clients who are already using design tools but might not be getting um, might not be maximizing their potential um, it's a great way to offer your expertise to these businesses and improve their design processes i hope this was helpful if you have any questions leave them in the comments talk to you soon